measuring AC amps. That's a variac. It's a variable AC source. The load is a 300 watt, 120 volt light bulb. It's an ammeter measuring current to the bulb in true RMS amps. Magnetic probe ammeter measuring current to the bulb in true RMS amps. A voltmeter measuring current transformer true RMS volts. There's a 10 ohm resistor across the current transformer output. The oscilloscope measures current transformer output voltage and the lab view input terminal receiving the current transformer output voltage. It's one amp AC true RMS direct measurement of current, 0.95 amps AC true RMS magnetic probe measurement of current, and 5.4 millivolts AC true RMS current transformer measurement. One amp AC RMS current transformer output voltage 59.4 measured hertz and 5.91 millivolts AC RMS from the oscilloscope. That's the power meter magnetic probe that's the current transformer. It's a $10 split core transformer from SparkFun. The voltage output of this split core transformer is measured by the oscilloscope and LabVIEW. LabVIEW calculates the load current from the split core transformer output voltage. Here's the computer program written in the language of LabVIEW. That's the front panel. That's the block diagram. The block diagram is the main part of the computer program. The front panel shows the virtual instruments. For the split core transformer, that's the millivolt measurement, and that's the load current, which is calculated. Each measurement contains 100,000 samples in half a second. A hundred thousand voltage samples are collected and displayed on the graph. Voltage amplitude is determined. Dynamic data is converted to scalar. RMS voltage is calculated. RMS millivolts is calculated. Millivolt value is displayed in the indicator on the front panel. A formula determines the light bulb current in amps. The amp value is displayed in the indicator on the front panel. The while loop repeats this program as fast as the computer can. This formula that converts current transformer voltage to load current comes from the following data. This is for the split core transformer. The horizontal axis is millivolts AC RMS the vertical axis is amps AC RMS, and that's the least squares best formula that relates the X and Y axes. In summary, three different direct measurements of load current were about one amp. A split core transformer sensed the voltage proportional to the load current. The oscilloscope measured the split core transformer voltage. LabVIEW measured the split core transformer voltage, and LabVIEW calculated the load current from the split core transformer voltage.